Okay. Hello and welcome back to Vingroth's Crazed Horde Adventures. So, um, I'm like adjusting stuff here and stuff's like way off. Um, because le yesterday I only streamed for about six minutes because my display driver stopped working. So, you know, I did all the normal stuff like run, like try to update everything that you can, run all your virus scans, um, but yeah, um, it, it does look like it works. Um, <laughs> the, the, it's, it's weird though. My, my monitor completely effing broke. It's just gone. Um, you can only boot it up for one second and it'll show the, oops, I'm sorry about the mic. It's not in the same place it used to be. Um, you could turn on the monitor for like one second and then it would show stuff for one second and then it would go off. So it's apparently a problem with the type of monitor I have. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. Great. <laughs> but yeah, we're back. Um, the plan today is to set off the gala event. Um, and yeah, there's some, hopefully there's gonna be some, some stranger things that are gonna happen this episode because I have, um, I made a mod. Um, you know how I made like the hypercharged weapons? I don't like this guy right here. I basically made it for the hollow rifle as well, so. Is, what, is there a... Wait a second. Is that a... Like... I think it's a bear trap fist lodged in his neck, actually. That's not normal. That's disturbing. Look, it's just like lodged in his like headless torso neck area. I'm gonna drag him over the corner because I don't like it. Eh. Eh. I also did a system restore, so that should help too. But yeah, so I'm working off of two very clunky, thick monitors right now that look like they fit better in the 1980s. But heck, it's better than nothing. So yeah, uh, one of the things I did um, was I was tired of looking for crafting tables. So. I took the liberty of putting one right here. <laughs> because I was tired. I saw one earlier. Friggin' A. Oh, hey, Saberwolf. How's it going? Alright. Make some armor repair kits. Because our armor kind of sucks at the moment. So the way this works is we basically... Is it beige colored? No, no. It is, it is black, but it's like the old style old style stuff. So basically what you do for these armor repair kits is you basically take off as much as you can to focus all the repair on the one item you want to repair. And then use the armor repair kit. Hey Scooter CC, how's it going? And... Yeah, yeah, it's a little better. I think one more will do it. Sweet! Awesome, that's much better. Alright, let's see what else we can craft here. Um... You can do efficient recycling. Definitely do the microfusion cells. Good, an extra 44 of those. I don't think there's much else I want. I mean, I could make grenades out of the... Whoa. I've never tried that before, but that... Microfusion cell cluster bomb looks insane. Um, I can make weapon repair kits too, but I think we're fine for now, so we'll just leave that. Anywho, the plan today is to set off the Gale event, which essentially will awaken all of, like, the Sierra Madre. Um, but before we do that, I found, see there's like a little tick on the map that is, that we haven't found yet. So, um, yesterday, when, uh, hey, ooh, there's something up there. Does that mean you can, oh, no way, you can go on these roofs somehow then. Hmm. Sierra Madre always has secrets. Is it jumping from there? Let's try it. You just have to look hard enough. The Sierra Madre has, like, treasures to behold. It's pretty wild. Alright, let's see if we can, like, jump on that little rooftop there. I don't know about that. Maybe a sprint jump? Whoa! Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay, cool. Oh, um... Sprint jump from here. Are you? Yes! 
No! Ah! Oh, we're so close. We can do it. We can do it. We'll almost get there. Okay, alright, come on, let's do this. Yes, yes, okay, and another. Alright, cool. So, it's over here. Now, normally sprint jumping isn't in the game, so you probably could do it normal sprinting, but, I mean, normal jumping, but I don't care. Ooh, okay. Some more ammo and purified water. Sometimes you'll see these little things, and it's just a little marker to show you there's something they left behind. Which is pretty cool. So we came up to this place yesterday and we realized that um, the place that's here is actually a world of pain. Uh, which is a modded, um, basically adds like a ton of areas to the game. Like something stupid, like a, like stupid amazing that is. Like 137 or something. Like new areas to the game, which is awesome. So let me just do this quickly. Here's another Dean stash. Actually, Convoy, if you feel up to it. Could you look up if um, there's Dean's stashes in the casino? Or do I have to find all of Dean's stashes before I go into the Sierra Madre? You know how much of a completionist I am, so... <laughs> I'd rather have that done, you know, as opposed to realizing I can never go back in the villa again or something like that. Alright, let's see. It's weird because chat's in a different location now, because... The monitor doesn't have the same aspect ratio, but it seems to be okay. Oh, come on. We can do this. Just a... Come on. Oh, why? Oh, it's very hard. That's why. Just be very careful. Come on. None are found in the casino, so we do have to find all of Dean's stashes before we before we go into um, the casino. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> that's kind of like the one time in Operation Anchorage where we missed like one in the very beginning and we couldn't ever go back to it, and so we're like, ah, oh, screw it. Come on, you are kidding me! All right. You son of a bitch! I'll go through all 89 bobby pins to get you. There we go. <laughs> Freaking A. Alright, let's head in here. Okay. Let's grab. Oh, it's a baseball. Okay, so I can hear some ghosts around. There we go. I didn't mean to take that paint gun. I'm just so used to taking everything because my character is such a hoarder. Alright, I'll take another automatic rifle, sure. And junk food. Who would leave perfectly good junk food? Ooh, is that a... Ooh! My millimeter rounds! Awesome! Hey, Bacora, how's it going? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, that's good stuff, actually. Nice. What else is the fun again? He tries to eat your headphones? That's crazy. My cats had a phase where they definitely tried to, um, like, any time they saw a wire, they tried to bite on it. We fixed that quickly, because we realized they would start going after electric wires, and that would not be good. Okay. Anything other than fire hose boxes in here? Everything except fire hoses. Interesting. So get this, Pecora. Yesterday, my display drivers crapped out, and my whole monitor basically is effed up now. Yeah, so so that's that's why I wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> I'm 
Trust me, I wanted to, but frickin' A. Like, ooh, ooh. My collar's beeping. He was right there. Woo! Oh, sh oh no! Oh gosh, there we're not. Gosh. I know, right? Ooh. Screw it, I'm throwing a grenade in there. Oh, I could do that too. That's always fun. It's my hyper frequency module. Oh. Alright, I think I'm gonna use uh, Bear Trap Fist now. Down. Okay, one. Uh, it makes it a little bit difficult to stream, um, only because like I'm using like older computer computer monitors to stream now, and they're all like boxy and clunky. But it's okay. Um, heck, at least I can stream. At least it's not like some terrible, terrible issue. I might go range for this dude. Woo! Now, did that actually... So you actually have to destroy what their limbs or else they don't die, which is kind of crazy. It's a good thing um, the energy meltdown perk does give you um, a chance to just blow them up outright, which is awesome. Oh, hey, look, he has a caravan shotgun. Give me those other bullets. Even though I don't use shotguns at all. <laughs> Alright, let's start sneaking again. We got the other rifle. <laughs> That's crazy, convoy. That's crazy. I think the earliest Windows I used was like Windows 95. And that was when you had the dinosaur computers, which were just, like, giant squares. It was awesome. That was back in the day when, like, there were no actual, like, games for entertainment. There were just educational games, or maybe that's because, I don't know, like, protective parental stuff during that era. I don't know. There was the whole, what is it, helicopter parents or something like that? That was, like, a fad for a while. And now I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Oh, seriously though. There was a point in my life where, like, there wasn't any video games for, like, straight-up entertainment. It was just, like, educational games. It was like, you know, you do math here and you do matching here. And it's like, the hell? Where's, like, you know, the good, like, RPGs and crap? Windows DOS. Oh, is this, like, a, an entertainment room? Huh. Looks like it. Got completely, uh, smashed in there. Alright then. <laughs> Gosh. Alright. I used DOS for a little while when I was doing Elder Scrolls Arena. But, uh, that was a long time ago. Alright, we need to go to... Trigger the Gale event. Which is right through this door, apparently. Alright then, let's do it. Am I dark, by the way? Or is it just my monitor showing up dark? I'm not sure. Let me know if anything's... I mean, stuff's gonna be odd, but let me know if something is particularly odd. <laughs> so that I can fix it. If it needs fixing. Right. More Sierra Madre chips. Now I think 
we've actually cleaned out this area pretty well. Still haven't opened up that yet. Can we even get over there? That's a good question. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Uh, it would be cool if you could, but it doesn't... It doesn't seem like that's an area you can explore, really. <laughs> interesting combo, interesting. Alright, um, now where should I be heading? Apparently, to, um, Salida del Sal North, okay. Is that up this way? Floors have teeth. Okay, thanks for the warning. Yep, those teeth. Sometimes, you know, the, the past uh, people actually give you good advice in this game. I think I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Uh, maybe it's a, we have to go all the way around. That could be it. Really, Bakora? Hmm. It says it's okay on my end. Twitch has been acting up today, though. I've, I've, um... I've noticed, like, uh... Apparently it's like a West Coast America thing going on, so I'm not sure if that affects you, Bakora. But yeah, a lot of people I, I've seen during Twitch today have that complaint. Alright. Let's continue on here. I think I remember this area. We had a tough time with this area because of the, um... Oh, I think the courtyard's over here. Maybe. Oh gosh. There's cloud there. Yeah, because here's the other side. It says no escape. Yeah, so there, there's the courtyard. Let's check it out. That looks good? Okay. Right, let's run through here a little. Ooh. See, this is the... Oh, wait. There's the radio right there. Awesome. It's always nice when you actually see the radio. Ooh, nice. Let's take another cosmic knife. Why not? I'm glad I took a look at that, because I wouldn't have seen that um, bear trap in the corner. Ooh, more history? Infrastructure. As shoddy as the support beams are for most of these buildings, the ventilation system's worse, and these problems have had, um, and the problems they've had over at Puesta, sure, uh, they didn't count on our bonuses. It's, um, it's good, but not when the workers are coughing to death. Uh, I hate to see what this place, uh, spits out if someone else let the ventilation system chug along for a few years. Um, we'll have another greener pastures on our hand. Easy, and a pile of bodies beyond it. Hmm. Okay, that is freaky. <laughs> you, you don't like dead money? I, I, I like dead money. I like the survival aspect of the game. But I understand, like, basically you... Like, it steals all of your items, and, like, you're basically screwed. <laughs> I'm gonna quick save here, because I'm not sure if there is an actual escape out of here. It kind of looks like there isn't. But we'll s Actually, is that water down? It is water. Alright, I'm gonna head down there and probably use bullet time. Okay, automatic rifle. No, I don't want to drink the water. That, like, took all my action points just to drink the water. Ooh, another Dean's secret stash. 12 out of 15. Alright, we're, we're on the case. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're safe here. Okay. Drive 
cloud residue. Ah, oh, there's the key. That would be a little bit weird if they completely screwed us. Okay, this takes us around. Okay, cool. I was expecting the doors to open and the skeleton to fall down to the ground. <laughs> but whatever. Nope, it's still there. For a second, I didn't see it. Alright, what we're going to do here is I'm going to use a Sunset Sarsaparilla too. So let's... Where is it? Uh, sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't have many left. And bullet time. Try to collect as much as I can while time's sort of slowed down. Now, if you're wondering, uh, bullet time... I won't have time to collect all those. Bullet time is essentially using your vats, your action points, as like a slowdown of time. Which is pretty awesome. Alright, cool. <laughs> At least the water lets you regain health. I love that it's like, it's like slow motion, like, uh, I'm gonna drink water. Water. <laughs> like, taking up like all of my, like, vats points. Heck, at least I have the uh, atomic perk. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. Get out of here. I do love the atomic perk, though. Usually, I don't get it because I don't rely on being irradiated. Yeah, crap. That's okay. I don't actually need to be up there. But, heck, if I just... Um... Get to the WADA. Um... Oh yeah, there was something else! So, I accidentally clicked something bad while I was modding, and I accidentally, like, removed a, um, a, um, a recipe from these vending machines. <laughs> so, I basically made it so that instead of getting the reinforced components, you got two advanced calibration hollow tapes. So, we're gonna get reinforced components. Whoops. The dangers of taking modding into your own hands. <laughs> so now our hollow rifle will have advanced, um, increased accuracy and maximum condition. We just need the focus optics. So hopefully we'll find those soon. Alright, ready to go now. <laughs> I did goof, I did goof. Okay, so that's good. Now where do I actually need to head? Is it this way? Oh, it's around that way, okay. Good enough. I'm pretty sure I cleaned I cleaned out this area pretty well until I realized, oh, I'm heading to the uh, to the place where we actually set off the Gale event. So I saved the rest of that. Oh, there's another Dean stash. Oh, already got that one. This is a dead end then. Unless can this bring us around? Yeah, here we go. I remember we were around here and we had such a hard time trying to figure out where uh where a um a radio was and it was gonna blow us up any second. Take a conductor, sure. There's a whole lot of stuff I can craft, so why not? It's the bonuses of having repair as a skill. And survival. <laughs> true that, true that. It is, it is weird, though, that you go through dead money, you go through all the trouble that you already, you know, surviving this place. And a lot of the stuff, like, the automatic rifle's good, but, like, the hull rifle, like, isn't that fantastic. Like, it, it shoots, like, well enough, like, it's a, it's a lot of damage straight off the bat. 
Um, plus it'll be more once I get those upgrades, but... Yeah, it, it's a little weird that you do this whole DLC and then... You don't really use anything from it other than the gold bars, I guess. Alright. Yeah, am I heading the right direction? Is the, the biggest question we can ask ourselves. Yes, we are, it looks like. As long as we can keep heading north. Okay. That's why I made um, I modded an upgrade for the um, the hollow rifle to make it useful. And hopefully we'll see that today because I think we'll be going in the area that we need that special item for. You'll see. Okay, here we are. We stopped exploring this place right about here because I realized this is where we actually need to go in the end. To that tower right there. Um. I see them on my map, but I don't see them. That's always worrying. Take all the gold bars. I mean, my carry weight is 580. Um, I think it's 500 naturally, based on all the perks I have, and then I get an extra 80 pounds from cybernetic implants from Project Nevada. But otherwise, like, that's as good as I can get, unless, like, a World of Pain adds another fourth dimensional storage device that you can get in dead money, but... Um, I haven't seen it, so I'm not sure if it's a thing yet. Ooh. Yep. Embalming fluid. It's a miscellaneous item that has absolutely no use, but I made a use for it, and it's used to upgrade the hollow rifle. Bone saw, bone saw, surgical stuff. Okay, they are after me now, though. He's probably right down the staircase. I'm gonna use my stealth mode. Go right for the face. Point blank. There we go. Awesome. Okay, now everybody else sees me. Or at least have detected me. I wish the bear trap fist was better too. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Nope! Whoa. Well, he's unconscious, but he's not dead yet. I'll try to bats this guy a little. Oh wow, he crippled my leg. And he took me out of bats. It was wild. He's not quite dead. There we go. And you are not quite dead yet. There we go. Oh boy. Does that mean freaking A? Let's see condition. Damn it. I don't have many doctor's bags left. I think that was the other problem. I know what you mean, Conway. Alright, let's see here. What is in this area? Wine? I guess if you need wine. I don't think we really need it, though. <laughs> you almost bought everything at Gunrunners. That's hilarious. I'm not sure what we'll do with the gold bars. I think in all my other playthroughs, I didn't really use the gold bars for anything. I just put them in my room because they're stylish. Ooh, automatic rifle recoil compensator. It's good stuff, I guess.
Ooh. Ah, damn it. I still need to find the uh, the focus optics for this thing. Holy oh, crap. Oh, you went right off the roof there. Anything in the corner there? Ooh, boy, someone threw that right in the room. about this oh wow that hurt a lot holy crap um I'll use a stim pack and whatever else I can get my hands on um, right now sun success gorilla but I need it I think if I have another weapon I'm gonna use it I have grenades. I forgot about that. I could also use the automatic rifle, which is really nice, actually. You know, if it was more accurate, that is. Actually, can I mod stuff in the middle of combat? Oh, I have to actually buy it first. There. Actually, no, I'm gonna go for grenades. Did that just bounce in the room? It totally did. Okay, that works. Okay, there's still someone walking around. That took care of most of them. Actually, I should probably just head out here, shouldn't I? there's a dude like right under me maybe hmm what's in here nice more Sierra Madre chips yep yep we're starting the gala event now, drinkable pie, uh, the, isn't it the case that, like, if you go into the casino, you can't actually go back to the villa? So, like, starting this event would actually, like, stop us from getting whatever else is stuck in the villa? Is that a thing? In which case, we probably just want to clear this place out and then see what we can find. Because I still don't have the focus optics for this thing. Paint gun. Oh gosh. I don't see a radio in that room. Hmm. We're gonna have to rush up there? Maybe we are. Ooh. I guess I have too much encumbrance right now. Ooh. Okay, got it. Anything? I thought that was a book for a second. All right, let's see. Nice, okay. Nothing over there. Yeah, because we need to find Dean's secret stash and everything. There's like two more of them out there, I guess. Granted, I did get the Return to the Sierra Madre mod, where we can actually come back here if we need it. Oh, thanks, Dream of the Pie, Allison. Okay, so 
This goes to the bell tower. What we know what we'll do is we'll make a solid save here, and if we figure out that we can't actually get there... Oh, there's the focusing lens, okay. We still haven't found the other two things, though. And super stim pack. Cool. So we're going to make a save here, then. A hard save. I wish you could name them. I guess this is as good as one as any in the bell tower, right? So... Yeah... I mean, I guess we could get Dean's stash later, right? Because I've returned to the Sierra Madre as a mod. Um. Oh gosh, it is coming for me. I thought it was being followed the whole time. I heard this dude. There we go. And you know what, before we do this, maybe we should do the weapon upgrade. So, let's do this then. Because I also want to spotlight my own mod. <laughs> um, not that it's like incredible, it just adds an upgrade for uh, the hollow rifle. Alright, so let's just... I think we've taken care of everything we can... Oh, I haven't been, have I been over here? I think so. Green glasses. How are, like, how's my armor after all that fighting? Yeah, my helmet could use a bit of a repair. Which apparently you can do with eyeglasses. Let's see. Amazingly. <laughs> Jerry rigging for the win. That's a shame. You get, like, encumbered by an amount, and then you actually just pretty much stop being able to sprint, which kind of sucks. Oh, there's another Deans. Oh, good, Bacor, you're back. Awesome. Let's see. It's better? Oh, gosh. See, it's this thing. I don't know where this thing is. If I were... no idea where this one thing is. Are you gonna go? Okay, convoy. I'll see you later. Oh, crap. Okay, we're still alive. I think we just went in a circle, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, so here is the vending machine. Let's get a hollow rifle focus optics. Yeah, I did. I did, Convoy. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Let's see. And I also wanted to get... What was it? The... I don't know what the H-bar shortened barrel is. I have no idea what that is. But there's the uh, automatic rifle uh, recoil compensator. We got that, too. So let's upgrade some weapons then. Let's fully repair that first. There we go. Alright, see ya, convoy. Alright. And, yeah, we upgraded that as best we could. And where is the hologram rifle? There we go. So that does... 126? That's pretty damn good. I might actually have to go back and uh, increase the damage of my old hollow rifle then. Or the, the new hollow rifle I have. Anywho, why don't we do that then? So, I basically added um, a recipe in here that you can actually get a hologram rifle. Uh, but it costs like a thousand Sierra Madre chips. Oh, this is a modded playthrough. Uh, I love Maddie. Um, but. Um, so this actually came from a world of pain, uh, which adds a few, like, some crazy, like 137 locations to the game, and some of them are actually in, uh, dead money. So, one of the corpses of the past guys that I found were, uh, had the combat armor, which is awesome. So, I'm gonna buy an extra one so I can show you guys the new one that I made. Of course, it's gonna, like, eat up a lot of my caps, though. 
get out of my way. There we go. I have to head back. Please this way. Yeah, I know before I know, yeah. Yeah, when it comes to Fallout 3, like you can you can really bust to the area pretty quickly. Okay, I think I'm getting closer, right? There. Okay. It's a shame I can't sprint yet. Can I go through there yet? No, I have to go around. I think, right? I mean, you know, it's an opinion, but I, I, I do prefer um, Fault New Vegas over Fault Three. I just like the features that they add and sort of improve on, such as, you know, additional crafting and stuff like that, because basically in Fallout 3, there wasn't much you could craft, but at, like adding the survival back in this game was really cool, so there's a lot of, like, new features that I really liked. I don't know, Cyborg Crab, um, what do you mean? Yeah, there's a different feel to Fallout 3, though. I know what you mean. There, there's, um, there's a huge difference in, like, the feel of the games, definitely. And if you're a fan of the Brotherhood of Steel, then Fallout New Vegas is definitely, like, very strange. Um, because they're... It's weird. It, like, I guess geographically, it's kind of, like, off to this... Oops, sorry. I bumped my mic. It's off to the side of where, like, the Brotherhood of Steel are located. So it's like they're sort of stranded, almost. And like they're a minority, which is weird. Yeah, I love Maddie. I, I'd agree with that, definitely. I, the DLCs are are really awesome in this game. Um, yeah, in Fallout 3, the one that I really liked was the pit. Um, am I still in the wrong location? Ah, here we go. We're close. I was wondering if we were getting... So I have to go to this... So you'll see, this is a new location. Um, they had a reinforced house. Um, which is awesome. And so basically I have like a tiny base to work with. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Um, Fall 3 more feels like apocalyptic, the apocalyptic adventure. But, um... But yeah, Vault New Vegas feels like a desert adventure. I know what you mean. Alright, so I need to grab a few things. Oh, wait. In the oven. I think. Hmm. It is weird, Drinkable Pie. I, I do agree. Sometimes you feel as if. There's too much of an expanse, really, which is kind of wild. Keep that automatic rifle. Uh, let's see. Throw those in there. I'll keep one cosmic knife with me. Uh, let's see what else. There's our extra hollow rifle. Put those away. Alright. I want to try to take down as much weight as I can. Because I'm need to, I'm gonna need to um, grab a few things, so we're good there. Now, because we're in hardcore mode, ammo weighs a ton, <laughs> or at least it has weight. So I'm actually gonna put a lot of this away. All right, we'll keep like the sniper ammo, and we'll keep any energy ammo, basically. Hmm. Oh, really, Cyborg Crab? That's funny. I I try to sometimes, but there there are some things that are. Ah, oh, shit! I just took it all back. Screw it. 
Oh well. Um, okay, so there's a few things I need in here, and I forget what they are exactly. I think I need an egg timer, a fire hose nozzle, some fission batteries, maybe three of them. Um, do I need forceps at all? I'll take one. I forget what the recipe actually requires for this thing. I think I need a hot plate and maybe a pilot light. Surgical tubing, I think I need. And turpentine, I think I need. I can't quite remember. I'll bring that all with me then. <laughs> I like how I made the mod, but I can't remember what, like, the recipe actually requires of me. <laughs> Alright, so let's double check it then. Oh no, I'm gonna stream Fallout 4, definitely, yeah. The clean cosmic knife spear? I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's check this out. So first... Let's go to... I think miscellaneous is where we need to go to first, because we need a... Oh, it's not miscellaneous? That I accidentally put... Oh, here it is. Caustic Condensed Cloud which needs an egg timer, embalming fluid, fission batteries, hot plates, pressure cookers, Sierra Madre martinis. Okay, so I need five Cloud Kiss lethal and a pressure cooker. All right, so let's get those. Oh, I'm so over encumbered, holy crap. I really want to sprint, but I can't. There is like some sort of like weight ratio that you need in order to be able to sprint in this game. Well, I mean, with the mod, that allows you to sprint in this game. <laughs> Alright, so I need a pressure cooker, which I think I kept in here. I need a fire hose nozzle, I think. Pressure cooker. There we go. And I need to make Cloud Kiss lethal. Oh, you need a, a high survival skill to do it? Oh, okay. Alright, now... Oh, you know what? I need to, um... Oh, gosh, Bacor, okay. Um, let's see. I remember the... Um, I can't make Cloud Kiss lethal unless I actually use a Sierra Madre Martini because my endurance is drained. I've become addicted, apparently. I think the addiction rate's way too high in this game. Alright, I need five of these. Okay. So, I made some Cloud Kiss lethal. And basically the, 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 I guess the theory behind this is that you're basically trying to make the most condensed version of the cloud that you can possibly make using the embalming fluid as a catalyst. So we should be able to make starts with a C, doesn't it? Wait, do I still not have enough? Damn it, did I forget something? There it is, cost of condensed cloud. So, basically the idea behind the, the actual materials you use for it is that you use a hot plate and a pressure cooker to sort of cook it down in surgical tubing to sort of tube it in and out, and you're sort of mixing the embalming fluid, um, the cloud kiss, and the fission batteries are basically used for the um, actual battery acid. So that's that's the whole deal behind that. So I'll make the caustic condensed cloud. And then once you have that, um, there should be a recipe in here for weapons. Although it's kind of crapped out on me. Here we go. Okay, so we have caustic condensed cloud. And we need... Your cloud infused hollow rifle, which is going to need a fission battery, two fission batteries, and a vacuum cleaner. And the deal with this is that you're basically like making a, a, um, like some sort of infuser that, like, you basically use the fire hose nozzle, you put it in the front of your gun, and then you basically use, like, 
like the vacuum cleaner to basically like suck it into your gun and infuse it. <laughs> yeah. So I need I need a vacuum cleaner and some fission batteries in order to do this. And I'm actually going to put my other hollow rifle away so that it doesn't actually accidentally use that as a crafting material. The weapon is actually pretty cool. It does like poison damage. Um, and actually makes things weak to poison as well, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm just going to drop my normal hollow rifle, or uh, my modded hollow rifle on the ground. That way we just have the normal one in our inventory, so it doesn't, like, accidentally craft it out of this one. So I need two more fission batteries. And a vacuum cleaner, which I don't have. But I made sure that all the materials that you use to craft are actually in this game. So I know exactly where the vacuum cleaners are. And I'm surprised I didn't pick one up earlier. Usually I pick those things up. Because they're usually useful. Yeah, actually what's cool is is I actually um I actually cut the cord. I uh, realized I wasn't uh, watching television as much. And um basically what I did was was I, you know, oh gosh. I went to my provider and I was like, "All right, so I'm not like watching TV anymore. So could you like please um just remove that and boost my internet?" So my internet is stronger, but I am having an issue now that it doesn't go as far. So like if I'm on the deck of my house, like I can't see it all the time. Alright now, is this the... I need to go to the police station, I think. Yeah, they, they kind of have that uh, recipe in this drinkable pie. Nope, this isn't the right area. Where the hell's the police station? It's in this place, right? Yeah, I'm going to need a booster as well, because it doesn't reach the entire house. Uh, the Wi-Fi, which is kind of weird. Is it up that way? Yeah, there's the police station. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was north, so I was very confused. Here we go. That's better. Okay, so apparently there's vacuum cleaners in the police station. Because I looked... I made sure that all the crafting materials were actually in this expansion. Because that would suck, right? If, like, you couldn't even make it until after you were out of here. Okay. I mean, we could also check, like, empty stuff to see if it's here. But it should be lying around, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Let's just... Let's see. Usually janitor's closet's a good place to look for that kind of stuff. Um, no. This could be problematic. Interesting. It's a recipe I haven't heard. Oop, ace of spades. Wow, it looks like I either this was empty or I just totally like destroyed it. Door to Villa. I would suck if there wasn't one here. But I'm pretty sure there was one. I mean, maybe we could find one in the, um, the actual casino and just carry the stuff with us that we need. That could be a thing. Two boosters. That's crazy. Alright. Hopefully it's down here just lying around and we'll just be able to pick it up and run. I could have sworn though, while I was modding, I looked it up and saw that vacuum cleaner was actually used in the police station. Like, as a reference. Um, this... Ooh, Gronach the Barbarian. Huh. I'm glad I came back here, actually. 
Hmm. You think it? Oh, you know what? I probably collected it, and it's actually outside of that reinforced house because I didn't think it was useful, and I just kept like a whole bunch of stuff I didn't think I'd need. So it's literally just outside the house right now. Yeah, because this place looks picked clean. You know what? I've been somewhere because, like, it's freaking empty. <laughs> I love how I can, like, how much I can actually sprint, though. That's true, there's mu uh, the, the maintenance area as well, you're right about that. But I think I dropped a whole bunch of stuff in front of the house, actually. The reinforced house I'm using as a base. Basically, like, I have um, a few cybernetic implants, which actually increase the amount of, or, or decreases the amount of AP I use while sprinting. So it's really nice. Uh-oh. But now I'm suffering from withdrawal. Oh crap, do I fix her on me? Because withdrawal is going to be pretty nasty, actually. What's it going to do, actually? What? What? Withdrawal. Minus one charisma, minus one agility. Ooh, I can't move, actually. I don't know Drinkable Pie. That that part of the game gets pretty complicated. We'll just see. Hmm. This is where I would drop all the weird crap. It look, mm, it's still here though. I don't see a vacuum cleaner though. You like the evil ending for the Sierra module? Just like I'm, my mind's blown right now because I don't know where one is, and I definitely picked some up somewhere. Is there one like tucked away somewhere? Damn it! How am I supposed to show this off if I can't even find the stuff needed to craft it? Just have a vacuum cleaner in here, please. Well, damn it. <laughs> hmm. You know what? There was. There might be one other place that we can check. Now, I remember dropping a whole bunch of stuff off. Like, I think in here. Like, right around the corner. I could spawn one up. You're right about that. Was it this way? No, it wasn't this way. Um, just as a backup drinkable pie, look up on the wiki for the code for it. Because I definitely had one at one point. I just do not remember where it is. Let me see. Hmm. Maybe the residential district. So I remember there were two times I actually dropped a load of crap on the floor. There is a manhole in front of my house. And I could go down it and say, Oh, here we go. There they are. Yes! Ha! I thought I dropped them on the floor somewhere. <laughs> uh, if only I'd known beforehand. But it's good all that stuff's, you know, somewhere. Okay, now we can do this. Alright, so we should be able to make a cloud-infused hollow rifle. Except. Awesome. So now we have a hollow rifle, cloud infused. 
and this thing is is freaky I'm still working on it like as a project I might want to increase the damage because I realize now that I fully modded the other hollow rifle that it doesn't do as much damage as the other one but whatever I'll figure it out anywho uh, the way it's changed is that instead of shooting blue it shoots green now and it uses the plasma sort of effect Although, you know what, I'm noticing that the actual cube itself kind of appears behind you, which is kind of weird. Does that happen with the other one? I don't recall. Anywho, let me uh, grab the other one, and we'll try to take off as much weight as we can. It also has much, a much bigger magazine to work with, which is nice. Yeah, I think the normal hollow rifle actually does more damage. Yeah, it does. Alright, I'll have to increase that, because the whole point of it is that it to actually make it better. But as you can see, its effects are that it gives minus 50 poison resistance and actually poisons people, which is awesome. So, let me put away as much crap as I can. And then we'll continue. all that stuff there put those away um, you know what I think I'll make um, yeah I'll make weapon repair kits that might actually save some weight for us I think we're fine Sierra Ma uh, Martini wise so I'll leave them in there I'll make as many uh, weapon repair kits as I can to bring down the weight otherwise we're fine let me see something first, though. Does this hull rifle have that same little ammo thing? Yeah, it, it sort of does. I guess it's just... Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna make this one, cause just to show it off, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's make some more repair kits and see what we can do. Alright, cool. I can make 13 of them. Hell yeah. I think that cut down on my weight a little bit. Let's see what I'm working with. Alright. I got like 100 on me. Let's do this. And luckily we can sprint, which is nice. I just wanted to do that before this, this whole thing, because it gets nasty after you set off the Gale event. of AP. Hey Lord Nerva, how's it going? We're gonna set up the Gale event like pretty much like right now basically. Yeah Lord Nerva, yeah. Here my actual monitor crapped out on me. Um, like it can like turn on like if you turn it on and off again it'll show the like this the display for a second and then shut back off so I need to get a new monitor so right now I'm working with a um, a very square clunky older monitor uh, but it's okay Heck, I can still stream which is nice but definitely not used to it do I go what's the fastest way to get to this place let's go through this way Yeah, it does mean I'm going to have to get a new one. It sucks. <laughs> I was just thinking about getting the new uh, graphics card, too, to... Because I basically want to be ready for Fallout 4 to, like, you know, not just have the best experience myself, but to, you know, have you guys see, like, you know, Fallout 4 in its best, you know, quality. Ah, oh, damn it, are you serious? We were able to get one, actually, a uh, drinkable pie. We're, we're good now. Damn it. Does this mean I'm, like, crippled for, like, the rest of eternity because I don't have a frickin' You son of a bitch. Ooh. 
Yep, we're crippled. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's true. If I want to get a, a new, I, if I want to get a new um, monitor and a new card, I might as well get a whole new computer. You are kind of right about that. It does it does add up after a while. Yeah, I was looking it up actually, and like, it, you know, I actually found a um, like a good guide to actually just buy the parts yourself. I know, no, the walking speed. I know, freaking A. Is there a way to build doctor's kits, or do I have to have better medicine for that? I know, we had to deal with this last time. Freaking A. Okay, I think... Go through here. If I didn't have this on hardcore, we'd be fine. But we're on hardcore right now, because I want the, like the full experience. Although, you, you know what? Let's take a vote right now. I know you were the one who suggested it, Drinkable Pie. But, like, I have a perk that actually makes it so that I gain health faster than I lose it from the Sierra Madre. So at this point, it's just, I don't know. Should I continue doing it or not? It's the question. Because otherwise, I could just limp all the way to victory. Or walk all the way to Victor, I guess, is the difference. Because I'd be able to use stim packs. Oh my gosh. God damn it. I just like the green effect of the, uh, the of it. Did I get slower? Okay, there we go. Oh gosh, the pimp walks back. I forgot about that. Um, I think I have to go down to go up, I think. Really? They changed that? So you die rather quickly from the radios? Interesting. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know. I need a doctor's bag. <laughs> I seem to be okay as long as I don't, um... Oh, crap, I need to walk around. As long as I don't have my weapon out, I... I'm fast enough. Alright. Let's set off the scale event. This is gonna suck fighting after here with a bum leg. That one lone bear trap. Frickin' A. What's my medicine skill? Uh, let's see. Uh, 58 right now. It might not be high enough. Uh, that's a shame. Alright, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna make a solid save here then. Just in case crap goes down, we realize we actually need to be here pre-casino. Alright, let's do this. This is gonna be awful. Can you hear me? Damn, transceivers. Let me link the callers to the speaker in the tower then. Um, Christine, we're, we're almost ready here. Ready. The both of us. I'll keep Dog locked in his cage. You just open the Sierra Madre. What are you waiting for, Rubbuckitin? Strike up the band already. Careful what you do. You think the villa's better now? You haven't seen anything yet. You know, I might not, because I think doctor's bags, what you need, like a scalpel and forceps and all that stuff, I usually don't collect those things, because I care more about, um, like, weapon health rather than my own health. I usually just worry about stim packs. I, I played the rest of the game um, in normal mode, actually, and I wanted to go hardcore because Drinkable Pie said it's a cooler challenge, so. It is. It's just, it worries me, like, having to go through this part with a bum leg. But we'll see.
All right, I'm ready, everyone. Let's trigger the event. Finally. Now, the gates will open, and so will the skies. Gosh, that's the cloud, isn't it? Holy crap. You don't really get a sense of, like, how much if it is, like, just really taking over. It's crazy. I love this place. It's just so freaking creepy. Yeah, right? Dean's been here since the bombs fell, right? He's the longest survivor, basically. Oh, crap. Of course, everything's here. Oh nice, there is like a little poison effect. I didn't I I thought that wasn't gonna happen, but it did. Yeah, really two two hundred year old yeah, pre-war fireworks still work. Oh gosh. There we go. Now, is it alive or dead? I'm not sure. I'm gonna make sure just in case. Oh shit. Oh gosh, it's coming for me. Oh gosh, now my arm's crippled. Oh gosh. Basically, all my limbs are crippled now. Oh crap. Um. Really, really, it's their it's it's Big Mountain's fault for the cloud. I don't really know what the origin of the cloud is. I'm not sure if we find that out quite yet. It'd be interesting to see what the oh gosh, both of my legs are crippled. Heck, I'm glad my health regenerates over time because of the atomic perk, and I just keep my radiation at minor radiation sickness. I just wish, it, is it like, because there was a perk in Fallout Three? And you could actually have your limbs regenerate over time with radiation. But I don't think this game has it, which is unfortunate. I think are they no, they're over there. I know crawling speed, right? No, I'm so screwed. Wow, this thing does wiggle. Holy crap. Is that because my arm's crippled? Or have I, like, changed something horribly with this gun? Oh, gosh. Oh, really interesting. There we go. Okay, he's like right over there. Let's see if we can't get him a few times. You don't mind me switching and switching back? I know, it's kind of getting ridiculous, isn't it, at this point? We'll see, we'll see if it's, if it, like, it'll be interesting. It is a crawling speed, though. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Doctors... You know what? I can buy doctor's bags if I find a vending machine. I forgot about that. They cost a lot, but it'll be so useful. Oh my gosh. Look at my character. No! No, not this room again. Oh. Holy crap. 
just need to find a vending machine. I know, right? What if I run into a radio? Alright, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, doctor's bags cost so much, though. Alright, I'll buy three for the three broken limbs that I have. There we go. Whew. All right, we're good now. Freaking A. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I guess it was the uh, broken limb that was doing that. Is there something down there? More oh, holograms easy. I know, right? Oh gosh. Whoa. Watch out. Nice, the poison actually killed him. Pfft, lol, he fell on the floor. Yeah, I do have the chips for it. I want to go, like, hardcore gambling, though. Oh, gosh, when we go into Sierra Madre, I want to, like, gamble all the freaking time. Yeah, there we go. Thank goodness for that meltdown. All right. As long as I don't land on another bear trap, I think we'll be fine. Oh. Oh gosh. This is getting crazy though. Let's get a few headshots on him. That works. Gosh, how many are there? Okay, we're going explosives. Ah! There we go. Are oh, you gonna get it? Screw that. Nice. Hey, Dirge, how's it going? We've set up the Gale event, and we're we're running for it. Find your way out of here. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Alright. This place seems to be okay. I'm gonna say that and there's gonna be like 20 more ghosts or something. Oh, yeah, Tersh. Alright. Oh, I guess I could have took that other shortcut over there. Alright, let's go in. Sierra Madre. We've, we've been in the villa all this time. Oh, gosh. There's more. What? Oh gosh. Two headshots. 
I know, right? Woo! In case you're wondering, I um, I modded the hollow rifle to for um, an upgrade. Basically, infuses it with the cloud. Gosh. Is that enough poison? Nope. Run for it, run for the gates. That's true, I am going through a lot of ammo. Alright, I'm run for, running for it. Okay, here we go. So, the gates lead directly to the Sierra Madre. Once inside, uh, you will not be able to return to the villa. Do you wish to proceed? Okay. So, yeah, we have to go into the into the, um, the Sierra Madre Casino. I did get the mod, though, that we can come back and get the stuff in our storage house and stuff like that. So, we're okay. Because why not visit, right? Oh, oh gosh. Um, excuse me? <laughs> um, put the beast down. Can you hear me? Power is fluctuating, emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. Thought that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Hmm. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything foreign, radioactive. It subdues the visitor. Moves them if needed. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here... Shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful, or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still. My signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now as guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me. Just need to wake it up. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do then. Receptionist terminal. Access music controls? Hmm. Okay. Activate holographic security. Activation code required. Okay. So we have to activate this old place first. Okay. Now let's see. Ooh, the casino! This is where we can get our chips, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. 
Let's set behavior bar stairs patrol. Okay, so we've moved the hologram. Okay, Dersh, no problem. Okay, so it looks like you can set the different patrols. Okay, no one's doing this yet. Can we just like whoop? no play roulette? It's currently closed. Okay. Oop, color. It's gotta be up there then. Just get behind there at some point. Sorry, I bumped my mic like really bad there. <laughs> yeah, really, the old guests of this place trapped by hermet hermetic seal, right? Freaking a. This place had like terrible security problems, and structural problems, and other problems. This place just sucks. Uh, let's see here. Anything I need? I think we're good for now. Probably want to save as many caps as I can. I'm gonna change this guy's patrol to hopefully not be on the stairs because that's where I want to go. Um, let's see, Casino West Floor Patrol. Okay, cool. Now these things you can't actually kill. They just attack you. It kind of sucks. <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Oh, oh gosh. We're gonna have to find that radio at some point. These are Madre chips. Need them all! Up oh, there it is! Let me get my throwing spear. On you! Bam! Wine. Shot glasses. <laughs> nice. I like how it sticks in the wall for a second. I think there was some sort of module up here. Can we do something with it? Let's see. Emitter controls security hologram in this area. I can disable it. Alright, let's disable it. Yeah, I can kill the projector, but not the actual um, holograms themselves. So you need to find, like, those emitters. I don't see any others, but you know what? Can I get into the back there? Oh, hey. There's chips up here, too. He sees me. <laughs> that yellow's like the warning, and then he turns red. God damn it. Come on, let's do this. I want all the chips. Okay, I'll take it. Hey, guns and bullets. I haven't seen some of those books in a while. Alright, let's take a look through here and see what we can do. Uh, oh yeah, I have other stuff to worry about too, like sleep and H2O and stuff. Why don't we take care of that? Um, we'll just go down the list here. Banana yucca fruit? Okay. Arrow cactus fruit? Cool. How about some mac and cheese? Hey, Mistress Pixie Gaming, how's it going? Yep. We're doing dead money. I love dead money. Now, what is... We're doing it hardcore, too, which is proven a little difficult. But my food is definitely down. Alright, I need some other stuff, though. Cram? Let's eat some cram, I guess. Get rads for it, but whatever. Okay, cool. Now we just need our purified water. And at some point, we'll need to take a nap. Okay. Oh, yeah, there was a reason I went there in the first place. 
<laughs> I know a lot of people don't like dead money, but um, but I really like it actually. Because it, it makes you, like, there's too much, like, <laughs> yum rads. There's like too much of um, overkill at some point. Like you get all the cool, like, fully modded, unique weapons, and then you're like, well, I can kill just about everything. Even death claws aren't, you know, as scary as they used to be. And then you play this game, and you're like, holy crap. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, cool. I love who's looking for those. Alright. Okay, intercom doesn't do anything. Nice cyborg crab, awesome. I always enjoy one run uh, watching speed runs of like portal and stuff like that. Ooh, the cashier's key. That probably opened up that, but whatever. Oh, and uh, here, let me show this off for you. So, I actually made a, a mod um, that you can basically have um, a hollow rifle infused with the cloud, like, outside. And uh, it basically, like, is a poisonous version of the hollow rifle. And it, like, shoots like a plasmatic, like, hologram. It's kind of cool. I think it should do a little more damage, though. Because now that I have a fully modded hollow rifle, I realize it actually does more damage. <laughs> Which I didn't realize at a time. Well, let's do this. Yeah, it does frustrate people a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, there, there is a way that I activate the casino floor. You're right about that. I'll have to find that. Alright, conquers? No. Nice. Uh, okay, I'll have to look for that. All right, we'll just unlock the safe since we don't even get like money for it anyway. <laughs> Where we we've leveled up completely, so it doesn't matter. Normally, I'd I'd unlock both, or I I, I wouldn't unlock the. Uh... Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, baby, chill out. I think as long as I don't actually go near him, he'll be fine, but he will look at me. Sierra Madre Armor reinforced. Awesome. Oh no, he hates me. Oh boy. Um. Oh crap. Oh. Okay, no wait, I can get out of here. Oh, okay, we did it. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's try behind the bar then. Actually, you know what? I also want to uh, see if this Sierra Madre armor reinforce is better. I'm going to um, use an armor repair kit on it. Let's see. How about... Nice, it's better than uh, the reinforced combat armor, which I'm just gonna... You know what? I'll carry it with me. It's worth a, a little bit. Get in the spirit of the Sierra Madre, right? Okay, can I get back here? Yes, I can. Okay, mac and cheese. Okay, he's doing his round. Security guard bag. Take that. Scrap metal. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, are they just ashtrays? That's disappointing. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Spirit ghost people? <gasps> it's a pre-war toaster! Do you know how rare those are? I don't actually know if they're rare or not. I just think they are. This door is hermetically sealed due to the gas leak. Okay. Oh, crap. Um... I don't see it. Might be able to tear off the holograms, though. Let's see. Rise. Okay, good. Alright, uh, let's see. 
check the status. Patrolling security office. Let's do a bar door guard. Oh crap. Okay, let's... Is it through this door? Let's move back for a second. Aha! There we go. Let's grab Yeah, it's true. Yeah, they tried to do everything they could, too. Everybody's, like, lying on the floor, like, in front of terminals and stuff. Um, interesting. Alright, so if we cripple limbs, we can come back to the auto docks. Tire iron. Pretty much drinkable pie, pretty much, yeah, people. Oh gosh, whoa. Oh gosh, they really wanted to go into the Sierra Madre lobby, but they couldn't. Probably like clawing at the door and stuff. Something really macabre. <laughs> okay, who left the radio on in the bathroom? Damn it, where's this radio at? Oh man, I can't turn it off. Alright, let's go back in the casino. Damn it. I know, it's so crazy. Like, this place basically became a death trap. Like, almost instantly. It's crazy. Okay, emergency notes protocol has been reading this over in the event of a fire, chemical leak, or nuclear attack, uh, nuclear attack or other threat uh, to the casino, the interior and the exterior doors will be hermetically sealed to prevent harm from anything to the guests. During this time, holograms will be deployed and assume uh, threat status until the lockdown is closed. Uh, guests can't be too careful these days. Still, what if there's uh, was another leak at the switching station, uh, not to mention the gas valves in the kitchen? If those got hit, the whole casino is a torch. <laughs> and holograms are, have, have been programmed with service protocols and security protocols. Service protocol um, holograms perform a specific function. Greeters, simple vendors, or in the case of the Sierra, Sierra Madre Casino, even monitoring the uh, gambling tables. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Can't move beyond their function. Oh, sweet. We almost got all for history's sake. Sweet. Ooh, what's this? We can get scotch! Yes! That's gonna solve all our problems. Okay. Ooh, psycho. Don't mind me. Just stay at that door. Chimpanzee! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, uh, let's... Set behavior, cashier counter protocol, uploading new behavior pattern, unlock electrical closet door, uh, check hologram status, currently pat uh, patrolling cashier's counter. There's another automatic rifle, nice. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? A automatic rifle extended magazine. Nice. Sierra Madre helmet reinforced. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna need more armor repair kits, though. Um, security measure meeting. Since you missed it, Sinclair, um, outlined security measures today. I uh, wasn't blind to what was happening in the news. Wanted to take steps if the Chinese got a foothold on American soil. Uh, ran us um, through an added functionality of holograms. Then explain the construction of the casino, its emergency protocols, and the broadcast signal we're using for the Gale event. Guy's a nut job. Still, seems to have the, his bases covered. Guess the isolation of the casino was intentional. Not sure if he was hoping to protect. Uh, sure seems to be obsessed with it. Yes. Yes, he is. Oh, hey. Oh, sunglasses. I was expecting a little bit more in a named desk. Take whatever's in here. 
vodka. Okay. Sure. Back to the Sierra Madre lobby. Oh gosh. Get back. Oh gosh. Hmm. Ah, here it is. I was wondering where it was. Disable the emitter. Sweet. So that guy shouldn't be there. Nice. Ah, damn it. Now there's this guy. Oh, oh, and now he's not. Aha. He's not over here now. Cool. Now we can get to the electrical closet. And flip the switch. Walk it up, Emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere. Awesome, we did it. Pin. Damn recordings. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby and we'll deal with your friends. Okay. Alright, so we can get gambling unlocked now, so let's see here. Talk to the hologram. Okay, I want to exchange pre-war money for some Sierra Madre chips. Ooh, I can do that. Um. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's see what we can do with um, over here. Oh, can we use? Oh, can we use these? Oh, <gasps> we can play slots. Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh, we can do this. All right, I've never done this before in this game. By the way, this is the first time. Um, the power of the whole casino is one one stuff. Oh, yeah, he shit holograms, right? All right. Um, what's our bet? Okay, five bets, and what's payout list? Oh, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Okay. Spin. Spin to win. Come on. Oh. Damn it. Um, spin it again. Woo, money! I want to win big. Damn it. It seems a little bit off, doesn't it? Like, shouldn't it be here? Maybe it's just because it's old. Do blackjack? Alright. Alright. Let's get out of here. One arm bandit. Alright, hologram. Oh, crap. I'm terrible at this, by the way. Um. Uh. Uh. This is roulette, actually. This isn't blackjack. I, I've, I haven't played roulette ever. <laughs> um. Um. What do? How do? How do I? Do I? Dub 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 w. So wait, what do I do? I. I just put them in random places, and then I finish the bet. Oh my gosh. Did I choose 23? Oh man. Okay, screw that. <laughs> I know, I'm not good at gambling at all. Um, I can understand blackjack a little bit better. Where's the blackjack tables? Do they have any here? I don't know if they do. 
They have roulette. Oh, th th were they? I saw them, didn't I? Somewhere. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's a blackjack table. Okay. So... We'll increase the bet, I guess. We'll make it five. Deal. Oh gosh, I forget how you do this. <laughs> um... What, is it hit is the next one? Okay. I'm not seeing anything... Oh wait, wait, how does this... Oh frick. I'm thinking Texas Hold'em. <laughs> I'm thinking Texas Hold'em when I'm playing Blackjack. Isn't this thing you have to get 21? So I've technically, like, F like I've done it bad. Gosh, I'm just gonna... Great. Wonderful. I do not know how to play this game either. I'm better off with slots. I'm terrible at game play. <laughs> it's don't go over 21. Or get 21. Okay, let me let's try it again. Alright, let's do it. Let's try this. Don't go over 21. <laughs> I love how I have no idea how to do this. Alright, we'll increase the bet to five. Okay. Deal. Um. Math. Okay. It would probably not be a good idea to get another one then. Because we're at like 17 right now. So, what, double down? Oh, double down's that. Okay, so stay then? Is that what I do? Damn it. So we had 19. I gotcha. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, kings, queens, and jacks equal 10. Okay. <laughs> I, love, <laughs> I love how I have no idea. This is fantastic. Alright, let's try this again. We're making it 10. Alright, deal. Okay, so he's got a king. So, all right. I don't even know the, like the strategy behind this at all. So, okay, this is at thirteen, so we can definitely take another one. Okay, now we're at sixteen. Sixteen. Hit or stay? What do you guys think? Yeah, he already has 10. Hit? Should I hit again? Stay there. What is your luck? My luck... My luck is at like 6, I think. I'm gonna stay. Damn it! He was at 20 exactly. We're gonna freaking win one of these, damn it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm at 17. And he's at 10 something. Should I just... I'm gonna try this. Stay. Would you fucker! By one. Alright. We're gonna do this. Alright, so we can definitely hit. Okay, so wait. Ace is 10 or... Ace is 10 or 1, correct? Drink something to increase your luck. Stay again. Alright, I'll stay. I'll stay again. Yeah, there we go! Freaking A! Alright, let's try this. Alright. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Always hit. Ace is 11 or 1, okay. Okay, so 13. Should we double down? Let's try a double down. Woo! All right, I don't, I'm, I don't even know what happened. I'll just be honest. <laughs> what ace is eleven? So that was what thirteen. I feel like I was over then. Whatever. Okay. 
Stay. Hell yeah. All right. We're actually earning stuff. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, let's do it again. We're actually earning stuff. I love how we have zero major earnings. Um, gonna double down. Ooh, that was bad. Damn it. Um, all right, deal. Queen eight. That's eighteen. I'm gonna stay. Break even. Ooh, all right. That's 12. Double down. Yeah! I unlocked the achievement double down. <laughs> Asian Jiro, how's it going? We're in the Sierra Madre casino, casino, learning how to play blackjack because I've never played it before. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so that's 14. Double down. Ah, oh, shit, that's a little too high. Damn it. I'm getting a little frisky with the double down. Alright, we'll hit once. Alright, 15. Let's hit again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> My Sierra Madre earnings are pathetic. Okay, that's 12. I'm gonna double down. Damn it. I'm not doing well here. 13. Double down. Okay, maybe I should stop hitting double down. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Who's clapping? Hmm, okay. I want to try to get my money back. Alright, 19. I'm going to stay. You asshole. <laughs> Deal. I'm gonna stay. There we go, alright. <laughs> oh, your chances of winning go near zero after 16. Good to know, Drinkable Pie. Good to know. I'm um, gonna hit. There we go. Okay, we're getting stuff back now. Hit. I got too frisky with the double down. That was the problem. Um, okay, I'm going to stay here. Do with the 16 rule. Damn it. Okay. Definitely hit. Okay, I'm going to hit again. Oh, I got 21? Okay. So that's what? 19? Stay. He got freaking blackjack. I'm going back to slots. I feel like I'm better there. Alright, I'm going to stay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Just screw that. Damn it. We're playing slots again. <laughs> this casino is the hardest in the game. Wait, what? Get bar is bar. Wait, what? Bar is times 20. What? How did I lose money? It should have given me times 20. Is it? What? What? How? What? How? The hmm. Really, you need a 10 luck in order to have a chance at um, 200 chip bets. Wow. Yay, I win 10.
I always feel like I'm luckier at slots than anything else. This casino is a cheater. See, I get money back so quickly with this. Granted, I'm only betting like 10, so... Pretty much back to where I was right now. Oh, definitely Fallout 4 hype. Definitely Imperial Victory. Yeah. Alright. I'm getting a little salty. <laughs> I'm getting a little salty. Is there any way to boost my luck? Okay, we'll leave with a win there. But yeah, my Sierra Madre earnings suck right now. Alright, let me see. Do I have anything that increases luck? Nope. Really? That's cool, Drinkable Pie. That's awesome. Is there stuff that increases luck? I don't... Is there... Is that normal? Oh, drugs do? Blackjack is better? Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. You at least have more choice with blackjack, right? I was trying that before, but... It was the first time I played blackjack, so I kind of suck at it. Charisma. Damage, no. <laughs> That's endurance and strength. I'm also addicted to it, apparently. Alright, well. I can always come back or do that off camera, we'll see. <laughs> Anywho, what the hell was I doing? I thought it would, I would I'd make it big in the casino and here I just suck at betting. <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, I only have six luck. I think. Yeah, I only have six luck. So we need to go over there. Oh no wait, I should remove that actually. I think I should go local map. There we go. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yeah. Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close, reset the signal, or blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? End them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the callers don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the callers. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the caller frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run. Oh, just not sure how long may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. Okay. So we need to deal with our team. Oh, hey, the speakers have stopped. That's good. Ooh, can I repair the uh, Sierra Madre ha hat with this thing? 
I can. Lol. Uh, it is five. I can't wear the surgical mask with it, but honestly, who needs the surgical mask, right? I remember you, Mango Man. You kidding me? <laughs> Kill Dean. We'll we'll see what we'll do with Dean. We'll see. It's the casino. Okay, where does it want me to go first? I think it wants me to deal with Dog first. No, I can't get in there yet. Then where's it telling me to go? We can always go to the theater. We'll try that first. Um, I played a few different games, Shinjiro, like um like Terraria and stuff recently I've been I've been doing, so like yeah, I've I've gotten to, like a few more people. Yeah, which is awesome. I just don't know CSGO Mango Man, so I can't relate really to what you're saying. <laughs> a lot of people talk about it, but I haven't played the uh, the game Kendall itself. Is still alive. Correct that. Or break him. Yeah, I thought he was at the restaurant. I know I have to take care of the gas leak eventually, I just don't know when or how. Okay, what do we got here? Plagued. Nope. All right, so it's not ED. Okay, that's closer. Controls, air or pistols rather. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Sierra Madre's lobby security code. Retrieving security code information. Okay. Shows list. Wilfred the Wizard! Awesome. Um, let's see. Performance protocols. Interesting. Okay, so... Preparation and end progress. They have different hologram sentries and stuff. Ha <laughs> ha Really drinkable pie? Okay, I'll have to be careful of that then. Urgent message from Mrs. E. Sains. Okay, I'll be right there, Eve. Um, just hide till I get there. Do whatever you need uh, to do, understand? I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Everything exploded. There's smoke. Holograms are firing at people. We can't get out. John, please. Oh. So it looks like... The holograms backfired and started actually attacking the people. Oh gosh. Oh crap. An old man. Damn it. All these freaking radio callers. Damn it. Alright. Um. I have my, my throwing spear ready. Oh. That works. Do you have anything on them? Nope. Damn it, how many of these are there? Not really, Mango Man. My, my streaming days have been pretty, uh, pretty consistent, actually. Uh, the only day I haven't streamed... Um, actually, I guess there were two... Um, one of them was yesterday, because my monitor broke, basically. Um, I forget what happened Saturday. I think my cousins were over or something? That's why I wasn't streaming? I forget exactly why. It was something to do with family, though. But no, I, I usually keep my streaming schedule pretty good. And usually if you don't see me streaming at my scheduled times, I usually have, like, a thing that tells you that, you know, tune in tomorrow or something like that. So I'm usually pretty good about staying to my schedule. 
Let's go this way. Maybe it's easier this way. Oh, it's cool, Mango. No, no, you're you're in no way a huge douche. No, <laughs> no, you're fantastic. I'm glad to see anybody and everybody when whenever they can get here. Damn it, that one's shielded. Oh, did I... Have I, like... What's my encumbrance right now? Uh, that's too high, I guess. What am I carrying that's so heavy? I wish you could, like... Like, Skyrim UI. Like, actually, like, organize stuff by weight. I probably have a lot of stuff I don't need. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to... I'm bullet timing. Okay, where the frick is it? Damn it, it's shielded. Hop over. Okay, caller stop beeping. Take Vera's pictures? A key slides out of it. Interesting. So you showed. Felt the collar start kicking again as soon as the elevator doors rattled open. Think you're going to upstage me here at the Sierra Madre? I don't think so. Now that I'm inside, well, I don't need you anymore. I hate when this happens. So I ducked to hopefully not have him see me, but... Frickin... They should, like... I hope they fix... Well, in Fallout 4, it's actually going to be cinematic, which is going to help stop this issue, which is be, uh, having a wall or a bar in front of it. Oddly, Oblivion sort of had it right, where it sort of zooms you into the person, because if this zoomed in a little bit more and actually showed Dean, then it would be okay. But right now, I'm just talking to a wall. <laughs> oh, boy. Borderlands is a good game, though. I like Borderlands. Um, how'd you get to the gala? Um, from the gala, a gala event to here. Me? I was halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel, and beelining for the gate before the light show started, and before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky, ghost people. Lots of them. But that was your problem. Anyway, front gate was open, nowhere I was letting you get in first. I walk in, there's a flash, and I'm here. Must have been Sinclair's security. He always had a thing about letting any threats into the casino. Security system's twitchy that way. Me, though, I'm a guest here, so I guess I got the royal treatment after all. He'll use his wall powers. Okay. <laughs> if I piss him off, he'll just, like, fall on me. Alright. So stab me in the back for the Sierra Madre? You think I'm the bad guy here? I'm not the one slapping bomb collars on innocent folks and flicking the switch. And I'm not stabbing you in the back. I was facing you all the time. This heist, I planned it lifetimes ago. You and that old man, tourists. Time for a little show. I'll just grab a seat and watch how this plays out from backstage. Security can handle it from here. And the callers? You sound awfully eager to kill someone whose life is tied to yours. It's a lie. No, no. The callers. I know what happened now. Sure, mine activated. But it feels different, the electronic tap dance inside. I can kill you and still make it out while security is busy frying you to a crisp. Hands are clean, then smooth Hopefully sailing Bango. to the Sierra Madre. Okay. All 
Alright, let's see. Really, what makes you think you can uh, slip out? Way I figured it, you'll try and run for the exit. And only I know where the key is. And where the safest place in the whole theater is. Oh, well, it's true, McCorm. You, you're trapped down there, and you couldn't shut off the speakers, unlock the doors, or cancel security if you tried. Let's see. Head backstage, destroy every uh, speaker, grab, the s grab every key and shut the security. What? What now? Try and come back here? No, you belong out in the audience. I mean, not like uh, you could get backstage. That key you snagged, it won't work. Uh, we'll talk more about this when we're face to face. Of all the... Where the hell are those stupid holograms already? Even if you get back here, you won't live long, trust me. Shit, that requires a key. Oh crap. Oh snap. Oh crap. I didn't know it's the security thing. There we go. Oh, okay. Wrong door. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, the poison cloud. All right, I'm gonna use bullet time. Gosh, it's still going. Ooh, hologram emitter. Disable the emitter. Woo! Doctor's bag. That might be my undoing, I'm not sure. Um. Um. Damn it! Wow, I crashed the game. Holy crap. Yeah, it's a little random mango man. <laughs> hey, I'd rather take this this than my whole friggin' like monitor breaking, I'll be honest. I'd take this any day. <laughs> Let's try to get that back up and running. I'm not sure where I hope it doesn't autosave in a really awkward place. <laughs> Oh boy. I know, right? It doesn't happen that often. Like, I have to say, this is probably only fifth crash? It's safe just before I died? Oh, wonderful. Ooh, I seem to be sneaking the wrong way. Okay, this seems to be a good one. I've had that happen before, Drinkable Pie. Actually, you know what? I had a save, auto-save, while I was shooting Christine. So, like, I, the, the, miss, the, the bullet was midway in the air.
Okay. <laughs> Ew, Mango. Ew. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of this one first. And then we know where it is in the other room. Um, excuse me? Ooh. Okay, just... Oh, crap. And it's right over here. Throw it! Throw it! Damn it! What's the whole point of a throwing key if you can't actually throw with it? <laughs> oh, I missed one. Okay, that's good to know. I'll find it. They see me. Whoops. Use a gun? Yeah, it's probably better. Let's see. Do I have like a simple like gun? Yeah, there we go. Please pistol. I was using the throwing spears, but that that doesn't work all the time. It seems. There's another one, but it's a bit of a trolley one. Okay, let's quick save here. Okay, I'm gonna shoot that one. But apparently that's not the one. Damn it! I was almost out of its range. Okay, Mango. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm using, uh, right now, Mr. Uh, Pixie Gaming, I'm using, um, Chasm. And so what it does is you'll see that instead of having auto-saves, like, it doesn't auto-save to lessen the chances of having a corrupted save. Um, so what it does is it does hard profile saves every five minutes. Which sometimes you'll see, like, a lag spike, but, um, it's pretty nice because if you're a streamer and <laughs> freaking A, like, you could easily lose like 30 minutes of gameplay if you forgot to quick save. So, it's a nice way of just having that backup. Okay, frick, we have to find this. It's not in the toilet, is it? Is it in the freaking toilet? I hate that I can't sprint right now. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, I need to, to drop something. Like, really bad. And I think it's gotta be this toaster. <laughs> can I sprint now? I can sprint now. That was the difference, was that toaster. Okay, where the frick is it? God damn it. It's around the corner before the storage area. Ha ha ha! Thanks, Drinkful Pie. F those radios. There's the backstage key. You, probably, you wanted to watch me suffer, didn't you, Mistress Pixie? <laughs> Dean Domino's blackmail tape. You wanted to watch me suffer. Ooh, let's drink from the toilet. That's a clean toilet. N and yes. <laughs> nice. Oh no, little kids taking medics. What's wrong with the world? <laughs> oh yeah, let's listen to the tape. Come in. I'm not ready 
wearing my dancing shoes, so I walk a little softly now. What? You think I was a Chinaman? Come to cut your American throat? Dean, really? What? No hug? Come here. Dean, I'm getting ready. You sing like a bird, pop the safe, and we're as through as through can be. Dean, I just... About tonight, I... I don't know. You don't know? I ask one simple favor of you, and you tell me no. I didn't say no. I just said that I don't think... You're right, you don't think. I don't need you. I'll send you back to the farm, worse off than you were, because you'll have seen the Sierra Madre and had to let it all go. Mm. I could have gotten any leggy dame out of Hollywood to get out here and play Sinclair's heartstrings. Wow. You just happened to be the one I caught. And it was really your own fault, a little too much into the chems and meds and... Oh, shh, don't cry. Look, I'm not trying to hurt you. Just one last little job. A little less dirty. A little less messy. He trusts you, Vera. And so do I. After this, I promise you, all those other horror tapes, they'll go away. Of course, Dean. Ho ho ho, okay! The whole freaking time, even post war, Dean friggin' planned this whole heist out. Because he just needed someone to catch Sinclair's eye to share all his secrets with. Holy shit, Dean. That's why everybody was saying Dean's an asshole. I totally forgot about that. He just totally forced, like... And it could have been anybody, not even Vera Keys. It could have just been anybody who looked pretty. That's crazy. Gosh, not another one. Alright, let's quick save. Damn it. Will I kill his sorry ass? We'll see what the dialogue options are. I'll see what the dialogue options are. Oh, okay, so Mistress Pixie wants me to find this one now, too. Okay, sure, sure. Did I pick up something else that may be over-encumbered? I need to drop, like, one thing so I can at least sprint. Um, what the hell can I drop? How about these three tin cans? Will that allow me to sprint again? No. How about repair this police pistol. Will that do? Still can't sprint. I think it, I don't know if it's buggy or like, I don't know. I think there's a weight associated with it. Damn it, I missed. It has some effing range on it, doesn't it? Whatever the frick this thing is. Okay, alright, we're getting better. You always spared the other two, but never Dean. Interesting. In the toilet? Nope. Get out of there. Okay.
Actually, they all have something in common. Technically, you're not being as random as you say you are. All those have, like, stuff in common, actually. Ambient audio control? Power off the ambient audio control? There we go. That's what it was. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, sexy sleepwear. Saw her yesterday. Let's see this. Uh, this hall this contains Dean's Domino saw her yesterday. Interesting. Some things are better left in the past. Let's see. Okay, let's quick save. Very poetic. Ooh, I can't open the door quite yet. Oh, there was a key by the radio. Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, what? Then what opens what? This? Okay. Oh, those are the holograms. I think I'm missing another key then, somewhere. Have they ever done anything in this? I don't think I've come across anything in this game where it's actually hiding underneath, like, anything you're looking for, like a key is hiding underneath, like, another object that you have to move. I don't think I've ever seen that in this game. Hmm. I'm missing something. Here? Hmm. <laughs> All right, Manga. Hmm. Damn it. Status report? Okay, audio's offline. Buy Dean's record? Might have something to do with his speech. Again, let go. Well, I can read it fine, Mango. Hmm. A little stumped here, actually. Oh, I always forgive grammar. <laughs> I don't hold grammar against anybody. Oh, hey, there's the other hologram emitter. Cool. Cup. Hmm. Do I have to do something else first? Like, maybe go to this floor? Can't get... Uh, maybe I can get up here. Yeah, I think this is the problem. Here we go. I haven't gone up here yet. Tales of Chivalry. Uh, Lion Congressional Style. Duct Tape. there. Hmm. Oh, here we go. 
Ah, uh, here we go. Play uh, Dean Domino's Hall Tape if I saw her yesterday. When an irresistible force such as you meets an old immovable object like me. Oh wait, whoops. Um, that's copyright infringement. Crap. <laughs> Um, no, no, damn it. I know this is asking for a little bit much, but like, can't games make it so that you can actually play them and not get copyright infringement? Like, I realize that I'm asking for a little much here, but like, maybe like a little option in settings audio and then streamer friendly and it turns off like all things that could possibly have copyright in them that'd be great although to be honest um uh, music setting there we go um although to be honest though i've had copyright it like claims for the background music of fallout and fallout 3 so like you know like just the stuff as you're wandering the wasteland that's come up on YouTube all the time, so I just freaking give up, really. What the hell? Is it voice? Do I have to turn everything off? Do I just have to turn all music off? What is the fuck? Turning it all off. I know, that would be really nice. Not sure what that was. Damn it, it still didn't open that? Oh, crap, what am I missing? I'll deal with the ghoul. It's gone on long enough. Okay, let me turn the stuff back on then. Okay, settings, audio. I, knew, I normally have... Is it like this? Voice is all the way up. Music is like here somewhere. There we go. Back. Back. Okay, now are we good? In my town? Come on down. We'll see. There we go. Alright, you're resourceful. I'll give you that. It's going to take a lot more than juggling keys and shooting speakers to stop me. As I see it, all I need to do is kill you, then make a run for the exit. You do the same, you'll be clawing at the lock until your head blows off. So, maybe you and I should have a little chat, just like we did when you first waltzed into town. It didn't exactly rip, did it? I don't think so. Ooh, you're not a betting man, which means I'm betting you have a key to the exit. Lucky guess. You sure about that? Because if you make a mistake, well, Sierra Madre's got us both. Hmm. Based on your, um, give me the key, Dean, and you walk. All right, all right, look. I'll hand it over, I promise. No need to get all upset. We can both come out ahead in this. Okay, you gonna give me the key or not? Look. I give you this key, and there's nothing to keep you from just killing me and running. And as I see it, I just gave up my ace in the hole. So the only chance I've got left is making sure you don't leave. And there's no way in hell I'm letting you get to the Sierra Madre vault instead of me. Not after all this time. Oh, on your end it ripped, okay. As the cloud decayed your brain, forget the Sierra Madre. I waited an entire lifetime, sitting in that villa, watching it all fall apart. Sinclair's Sierra Madre towering over everything, untouched. Then you show up, thinking you can just take it all from me, you and the old man running the show. I planned all this, 
I made it all happen, not you. Sure, yeah. I have the key on me. I made other keys too to unlock the casino in ruins in Clare. He does, he finally. does, definitely. After all these years. No. Now. Now I think ruining you and all your plans would be enough for me. Kill me, I still win. You're never getting in the fall. Just couldn't mind your own business. All right, he's got issues. Uh, you? Oh, that wasn't the right thing. My bad. I meant this. Dean, I don't play these games. <laughs> Dean has died. To the door before the collar explodes. Taking his tuxedo. Ticket. Gotta get out the door. I probably had more time, didn't I? That's all. You've got one of the floors reestablished. Good. Accessing the music archives now. Two more to go. It seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants was pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the collar do its work. Alright, I almost got this guy. I'm gonna go like this. There we go. I think the other one might be still alive too. Let's see. Nope, he's good. Alright, cool. Give me that. Alright then, uh, I think I'm going to stop there for the day then. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and I guess find out um, where the other people are, get their collars taken care of. Hopefully through, you know, like, civil means, as opposed to Dean, who is just not civil at all. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be back tomorrow with some more Fault New Vegas. Alright, I'll see you later everybody. Bye.